Today I want to take a look at a Visual Studio Code extension called SPGO or SiteGo. This is meant for working with SharePoint assets locally. Essentially it synchronizes a remote folder, say the site assets document library, with a local folder so that the moment you save the local file, it'll go ahead and upload and publish that change in the background that lets you work on your files locally, have a low latency experience where you're saving files, and then they get uploaded to the site in the background. It avoids you needing to drag and drop or go to Explorer view. You can connect your local folder to a destination document library and have the file uploads happen in the background. Popular extension been downloaded about 40,000 times and I wanted to walk through an example of how to set it up so here in the readme you can see that get started they refer to control shift P for setting up the configure workspace and it creates a SRC folder this is an example of the JSON you'll see afterwards so locally I have an empty folder for us and if we press our F1 command bar, we can open up the configure workspace and they're going to want the URL of a SharePoint site. So here we are looking at a SharePoint site. I'll go ahead and copy the URL, switch back over to VS Code, put that into the configure workspace. We'll do save and keep editing the first selection and I've actually had more success with forms. I know it says digest for Office 365, but forms, I think it depends on how your tenant's set up. Try both, see which one works well. And that creates a JSON file that shows our authentication and settings. Very good. And if we go over here to F1 and populate local workspace, it's going to want authentication for us to log in the first time. So we can go ahead and take care of that. After logging in, we see remote folders property not configured in workspace. All right, fair enough. So we can go ahead and add remote folders and put one in here. Maybe site assets is a good place to begin. And now if we go back over and do F1, Populate local workspace. We see our source folder now has content within it. That we have a site assets folder with a hello.aspx. Looking at our website, we have a hello.aspx file. And here it just says the word hello. Really not much uh, content in there. If we go check our local file, we could replace this and maybe do something a little bit larger. Um, like hello world and even add in a little bit of uh, formatting there we go save a file a couple of times just saving a local file not doing too much more beyond that and if we go check our remote page it is updating and so here you know we can kind of work with our content I'll hit save and in the bottom left, it's very fast, but every time we press save, there's something that pops up that it's saving the file in the bottom left corner with a, a spinning wheel. Now, saving a local file doesn't take long, but when you press Control S, what's happening is it says saving the file here with a little circle icon, and that's refreshing the file out to Office 365. So it's actually pushing the file and uploading it into your site assets document library. And what this lets us do is kind of work on our, our designs, work on our, our code and the changes we want without managing the upload process that's happening in the background. So for our purposes, we stay within the SRC folder, make whatever changes we want, and know that the JSON configs are going to upload it to this site, this particular folder, and it's going to do that upload whenever we save the file locally. Uh, some pretty cool things you can do here. You know, you, you could actually work with, say, like a light server or some sort of local host you know, website to get things the way you want. 
but then at the same time you're pushing the changes out to a shared location where you can give a link to, to other people. So definitely a faster way to work on content editor web parts, faster way to update your site assets, and all you have to do is hit save and it's uploading the file in the background. You know, one note on this, I think the credentials are saved only in memory for the VS Code session. So when you first open your project and kind of close out, you may need to come in here and do populate local workspace again. So if we closed out a VS Code completely, we come into it for a new session and we're kind of coming back into our project, we may want to hit F1 and do populate local. And it's going to prompt us for login credentials again, which is fine. But it, this is actually a good security feature. It's not saving those. And so we do populate workspace. And down in the bottom left, we see SP Go enabled. Now we're ready to save files, make changes, and have it upload for us. Thanks for watching.